So I just did all my skincare. Uh, I wanted to share with you some of the products that I like to use as someone who has like acne prone, sensitive skin, who is also very dry skin as well. Um, it's been a journey just finding what products work best for me and my daytime products are different from my nighttime products, but I'll just share with you my daytime products. I'll share with you some of the products that I like to use for the past few months. The first product that I like to go in is with this Heritage Store um, Rose Water Glycerin Facial Mist. I like to spritz this all over my face in the morning um, after I wash my face to bring back some moisture. I mean, I'll even do it now. It's like I'm almost done with it because um, I use this so much, but basically it's like a nice refresher spray. I got a little bit too much on my lip. <laughs> and then the next thing I use is another um, another Heritage store from the same brand, but this is their rose water toner uh, and it has a hyaluronic acid, which is really great for hydrating the skin, and especially if you have dry skin. So I like using this. This is my newer um, addition to my skincare. I had been trying out different toners didn't feel like it, I could find the same a good fit, but I really like this brand. So I saw this toner and I was like, I really wanted to try it out. And I've been using it for the past week and I am loving it. I feel like it does bring back a lot of hydration into my skin, which is definitely needed in the winter, uh, especially because I get very dry. And then the next thing I like to use is this Good Molecules Niacinamide Serum. Uh, this one was sent to me actually by Good Molecules um, in a package with other skincare products from Good Molecules. They just wanted me to try it out and see if it'd be a good fit. And I could say that I love this product. I love their toners. I love the serums. I love the facial oils. Um, I've yet to use their cleansing balm and um, there's something else in the package that I forgot, but this stuff is so good. I like put it on my skin and immediately feel like just a tightening effect that like, I don't know, I guess it's supposed to like tighten your pores and stuff, but I'm like, I feel like I feel it immediately. So really love this product. Next we have the Snail Mucin Power Essence from Cozarex. I feel like if you're into skincare, you've probably seen this a lot. Um, I really like it. It feels really like hydrating for my skin. I don't think it's like necessary, but I just enjoy and have been using it for the past couple years. It's just feels like a luxurious thing to add to the skin and add some more moisture. And then finally we have my main moisturizer, which is the hyaluronic acid 
Cozarex, um, Cozarex Intensive Cream, and this stuff is super intensive for the skin. It's like super hydrating, and it just goes in really deep and just helps to keep my skin feel really glossy and dewy throughout the day. Um, I feel like after I use this, my skin just starts to look extremely um, just hydrated. So I love this product, but yeah, these are all, let's see if I can hold it all up. But yeah, these are like the, my favorite products that I love to, I love to use these in the morning. And yeah, so that's the prep for my skincare. Now we're just gonna go into makeup for the day. All right, so here is my makeup bag. I've already just opened it up, um, getting ready to put on makeup for the day, but this is where I put all my essential stuff. Always sunscreen. I love the beauty of Chosun sunscreen. I feel like it gives a really nice glow to the face too, while also protecting your skin. I got my chapstick. This is my favorite chapstick, Dr. Bronner's Organic Lip Balm. I think I have like, like four of the same. Depends on the day, but I sometimes just to like to go in with just concealer um, instead of using like a BB cream or like a foundation or a CC cream, things like that. I like to just go in with a concealer, but if I'm feeling like more full coverage day, I'll go in with my Chong Samu um, cushion, found cushion, cushion foundation. Yeah, that's the cushion foundation. I'd go in with this, but I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna do concealer today. This Tower 28 concealer is like one of my favorites. I love this concealer. Uh, it's in the color, uh, B-U, B-U, that's, that's all it says at the bottom. I forget the name of it, but it's one of their more lighter shades. So I'm gonna let that sit. Um, sometimes I like to do eye makeup um, to, like as a part of my makeup routine, but this past year, I've been less inclined to do eye makeup and that feels like a big growth area for me because I used to be super um, self-conscious about the shape of my eyes and feeling like they were just too small and I just needed something to like make them look a little more bigger. And it's taken me a while to really like love and accept the beauty of like the eyes that my mom gave me, my ancestors gave me, and I just feel like I'm I'm at this point now where I do love them and I accept them for what they are and I think that they are beautiful even without eye makeup and I think they're beautiful with eye makeup as well. I feel like it enhances what I already have and I'm kind of seeing more of like eye makeup as something that like enhances what I have versus like hiding what I'm what I feel insecure about. These days I don't really wear eye makeup now because I just I don't know, kind of feeling more like laid back about it. Um, but on other days, like when I'm feeling a little more, you know, just wanting to add something extra, I'll wear eye makeup. I always got to do my eyebrows. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, this broke. <laughs> it's the Clio Kill Brow Pencil in gray brown. Um, gray brown. This the end just the spoolie part like fell off but which is fine okay and then i'm gonna get my little spoolie i bought this separately because the spoolie part of that eyebrow pencil fell off we have blush this blush is from merit and it's called persimmon and if you follow my art you know that i love 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 persimmons make sure to set everything with the powder so i use the bare minerals original mineral veil powder to set everything i'm just kind of going where i put that concealer lip liner and hazelnut my gloss the say gloss in bounce is spritzing the face with some Tower 
28. And then there it is. This is my, this is the makeup for the day. So I wanted to take some time to review some products that I just received in the mail from HR Labs. They sent me one of their uh, sketchbooks. It's the Hot Press A5, which is 5.9 by 8.3 inches. It's in a portrait format, so it's vertical. And then they sent me some brushes and a brush holder kit. And these are the brushes. They come like in a variety of sizes. I'm really excited to try this out. I have not tried out their brushes or the sketchbook. So this will be my first time um, trying it out and seeing how it goes. Um, it is made with 100% cotton paper and it's hot press. So I believe it would work well with watercolor and gouache. Um, I think I'm going to try it with some gouache today. I'm going to use some gouache paints and paint a full spread here and kind of test it out and see how it looks all together in here and test out the paper quality. Hot press paper, I believe, is the type of... Um, hot press basically means that the texture of the paper is really smooth, so you don't have those, like... Like there's certain types of watercolor paper that have like the ridges and like the texture and stuff. Um, this one does not. It use, it's like better for like detail work or whatnot um, is what I read online. So I'm excited to try this out. Let me just open this plastic part so we can see what's inside. Mm. It has like a nice canvas feel to it. It's like a cloth, cloth bound feel, which I love. Right, and then here is the the inside pages. Ooh, they're really like nice and thick, and the like each page is pretty like thick feeling, kind of like cardstock a bit, and the texture is so pretty. It's a very uh, true true white color versus my other sketchbook, uh, the Han Mule travel journal that has a more kind of like almost yellowy undertone to the white but this one has like a more eggshell white color so I'm really excited to try this out not really sure what I'm going to be painting in here probably like flowers or maybe I'll paint a cake or I don't know something I've been trying to figure out what to what to paint sometimes it can be hard to to find the inspiration but maybe i'll just like kind of doodle on the page or something but we'll see we'll see what happens um never know so we're gonna try this out and i'll let you know my thoughts at the end
the sunlight is leaving this table, so I'm putting the sketchbook in this corner so you could see how vibrant the gouache looks on this paper. It's amazing. It feels so nice to paint on. I ended up ditching the etcher brushes for my <laughs> trusty old brushes that I got from Korea like two years ago just because they didn't feel as nice to paint with as these brushes do, but I'm really picky about brushes, so I think these ones would probably be great for like when I'm doing larger like acrylic pieces or something, but these are like my go-to for details. But the sketchbook, the paint in the sketchbook looks beautiful, it's so vibrant. The texture is wonderful and it doesn't bleed through. I think for the rest of the page, I'm going to use watercolor and then I'll show you sort of the, the final, like what it all looks like together. Good morning. It is the next day. I ended up not being able to finish this whole spread yesterday. It took me a good while to get all this uh, detail work done, but today I'm going to go in and use some color pencils to do some more detail work on this page. And then I'll show you the final look and then we'll talk about what I think about the sketchbook. <laughs> I just love these. They look so good in the sketchbook. I love it. All right, so I've completed the spread in my sketchbook in this sketchbook that I was trying out from Etcher Art. And this is what it looks like. I love how this turned out. The paper quality of this is so nice. It's like very, um, it has like a thick, feel to it. Uh, the texture is really beautiful. It's very smooth to work with, which is always what I'm looking for with the specific paper type that I like to use when I'm doing my color pencil drawings or my watercolors or gouache. So here I actually use all of my favorite mediums in here. I have some, the gouache is right here. I've got the watercolor here. And then this whole spread on this side is or this whole page on here is all watercolor. And I added some color pencil uh, detailing here as well. So this is sort of kind of just like a random doodle. I just kind of went in just being like, I'm just gonna try out all the things that I like, uh, I don't know, that I like and I've been like pinning on my Pinterest board or things like that. So we got some tomatoes, some flowers, some like cosmos flowers, some blueberries, cherries. And then here I was pinning a lot of cakes recently. I've been really into these beautiful, like almost messy looking like cakes with like all the flowers and fruits and stuff on top of it. I just love like the color arrangement of it. And I think it looks so beautiful and organic and just like, um, like an art piece basically. I love them. So I was just feeling inspired by the different cakes I was seeing on my Pinterest and then some, you know, coffees because coffee uh always love a good cup of coffee and so i wanted to paint some little coffee mugs that were really cute um and then i have some oranges here from like a orange grove picture that i was looking at but overall i would rate this sketchbook a 10 out of 10 in my book i'm so um, pleased to have gotten this from HR Art. Thank you so much for sending this to me. I think this sketchbook is absolutely gorgeous and I'm definitely going to be using this more in the future. I just finished my other sketchbook. It's the Strathmore Mixed Media Sketchbook. That one I finished um, a few weeks ago so I definitely was needing a new kind of mixed media sketchbook like this here. Um, but I'm really really excited about this. I love how how 
even the colors like just pop out so lovely like they're so saturated looking and I think it just looks so beautiful like all together and the page and the paper texture and the quality of it just really enhances the color which I really love and yeah so um definitely like recommend this is all for the video thank you so much for watching um I hope you enjoyed a little um look into i hope you enjoyed a little look into what my mornings usually look like and then just this little review of the sketchbook from hr art uh, i hope you have a wonderful rest of your week um hope you're having a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one bye